this point of the tour, your students should be well versed in the factors that exacerbate soil erosion, such as limited infiltration, overlaying flow, soil compaction, um, soil quality, meaning that the limited amount of organic matter. So they've, um, they've already tested uh, compacted soils with an infiltrometer. And as you come towards this site, I want you to also point out this old gully that's formed here and show what an old gully looks like and how you know it's an, an older gully that might, it seems to be retired. Um, look at the accumulation of organic matter in the, the gully here. Um, it's not as active as, as you saw up at our older, at the previous site where you had the um, exposed soil surface and you had evidence of erosion um, with the sand sized particles at the conveyance zone. Um, so we're going to continue walking down and we're going to do another infiltration test with our infiltrometers with a site that has seems to have quite a bit of organic matter accumulated at the surface. So just come on over here and what you want to do is remove the fresh leaf litter and sort of just push it aside to expose sort of this fibrous material. You can see the mycelium network here. That's really good organic matter. Mycelium is the, um, the white fungal hyphae that you see there. Um, so when you expose your site, insert your infiltrometer, follow the directions, tabulate the data, and um, compare um, later on. Uh, I guess you could compare here. This is the final site of the tour. So what you want to do is contrast the, the numbers here um, that you're getting from this infiltration to the um, infiltration rates of the compacted soil and have the students kind of synthesize what they've just learned verbally. Um, so that concludes your tour around Greenbelt Middle School and sort of addressing the water permeability issues of, of the landscape and kind of linking soil to the water cycle.